Hi, really quick video that we've got this time. John Smythman, thanks for the tip, but it's not clear how to make a team private anymore. This was in response to a, a post I made on Yammer. Key lesson, all teams should be private and the join code needs to be disabled as soon as the class is joined. Problem is that uh, schools have created teams. Uh, they've either made them public or they've made the um, ability to join via a join code and they're getting spurious people coming and joining their classroom or their team. So uh, John has come back and said, how do you make a team that is public private again um, or make it private? And uh, it's actually not that difficult, but you've got to find where the feature is. So what I'm going to do is jump across to Teams. Here I am in my favorite uh, Teams for Yammer users. It's actually a public team. It's a team that anybody can find if they search for it and uh, can join, but um, it's just a scratch team. There's not a lot of real action happening in there, but uh, I can play with it for the purpose of making this video. Anyway, under here, you've got an option that says manage team and in here there are a bunch of different options and there's one that says settings and in here is where you can set the team code so if I wanted to share a code for people to join the team I could um, simply highlight this um, this particular code and make it available really important to remove that when you're finished with it because we don't want anybody to just jump in, find the team and join it using a code. Uh, so that's how you get rid of the team code if you had that set up. That applies to both private and public teams. So if you had a private team and you're using the team code, you need to make sure that that gets removed once everybody that you want to join the team has done so. The other place to go is in the option in here which is edit team and edit team is the place you set the privacy so currently you can see that this team is public anyone in your organization can join and if you pull this down you've got an option to change it to private so um, that is where John would go in and change his team from being a public team to being a private team and you've got to scroll down to the bottom once you've changed it to private scroll down to the bottom and the update button is there so I would come in here why is that highlighted come in here go to private and then go update to change that to a private team I don't need to do that for now so that's um, that's a nice couple of tips that uh, you've got for working with teams to make them private rather than public hope it helps